Aha, there you are, a very good evening to you. This is me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. This is the start of our one-hour superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment talk show one hour live on facebook live with me scotty mcclue the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet sunday night of course nothing ever gets past me i know these things the time nine o'clock and a very very warm welcome to every single one of you so much to talk about tonight so little time to do it in we're talking about the guns in america now i don't know if you saw on facebook just the hundreds and thousands millions probably who were marked against gun crime in America and I'm saying let's ban the guns for goodness sake woohoo come on Scotty say hello to Mr. Jacob Marley I've followed you since 1983 dinky do dinner uh, you know the dog heavens above he says fantastic stuff we love that so there we are so of course during the evening we'll have share point share 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 and tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClure saying dinky do just for you live on Facebook live one hour is tiny it's not enough time to even get through a lot of stuff so let's hear from you tonight good evening says Thomas Hamilton good evening yes to you Thomas lovely to have you with us dinky do and uh, dear the Doug, of course, welcome to you. Uh, Brian Keswick, hello, Scotty, how are you tonight? Excellent, Brian. Thank you very much for asking. Lynn Donnelly, hello, Scotty. It's your... Wait till I see what that is. Wait till we see. Hello, Scotty. Um, it's your hairdresser, Lynn Donnelly. Fantastic. Here by Lynn Donnelly, very smart, of course. Excellent stuff. If you're over in the south side of Glasgow, get yourself up to Orchard Park, up to the shops, and uh, get your hair cut by Lynn Donnelly. She is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. Uh, lots and lots of you. How was your weekend? Fantastic. Thank you. How was yours? I was very interested in uh, looking at Facebook yesterday and the millions of people marching in all the major centers in America against gun crime. Fantastic. What a wonderful turnout. I think it's time for America to move into the 21st century and get rid of their guns. Put down your weapons, I say. Look at Isaiah. Men shall um, beat their swords to plowshares. So there you are. Fantastic. The spears. The spears to plowshares. Wonderful stuff. So there you are. Um, fantastic. Oh, gosh, there are so many of you tonight. This is wonderful. Welcome, 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 I say. And with a good few thousand looked at last week as well. Remember, we are at the mercy of the Facebook algorithm, so a lot of people won't be able to see me right now. It decides who actually sees it. But uh, I'm going to get in touch with Facebook and see if we can de-restrict so that we can go out to 2 billion people. 2 billion people should be able to see Scotty McClure. And of course, it's high-value content for Facebook to have Scotty McClue on there. Very interesting this week, uh, you know, the sort of attack on Facebook, if you like, talking about uh, data and everything. But think about it. Everybody has always had records of your data, whether it be the church or the government or local government or the DWP or whoever. Where was she born? When was she baptized? When was her first communion? Etc. Etc. There we are. We're talking about that. Um, now then, who have we got here? Wonderful. There's Jim McGarry. I'll just get this going up here, folks. Got to get you all going up. Thumbs, not guns, says Spike Nesmith. Good for you, Spike. I think we need to teach our children music. That's what we should be looking at. So we should have violins instead of guns and saxophones instead of guns. Although I remember an orchestra with no violins and no saxophones and I said, what is it? They said a memo came out from the bosses saying no sax or violins. There we are. What about that? <coughs> now come and join us. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. 
and we're live with the world's top talk show. This one is for you. The more sharing you can do, as I say, we are at the mercy of the algorithm. I discovered this. So only those and such as those get to see Scotty McClue. Now, I think it would be in Facebook's interest to show everyone Scotty McClue, because this is the way ahead. This is the new television. This is high value content. Lovely, lovely. Stick your tongue out and say ta-ta, says somebody. A good McClueism there. Anybody else remember other McClueisms? That would be rather interesting. Do tell, I say. Do run and tell. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue. Do we remember that one? Do we remember Dinky Do? Do we remember stick out your tongue and say ta-ta? Do we remember stick your head up your backside and blow your nose so the pressure equalizes? That's the Don't try that at home now, of course. That was for entertainment purposes only. So there you are, Scotty McClue, live just for you, and we only have an hour. We're discussing tonight the gun crime in America. So if you're watching in America, come on and stick your oar in. Put your opinion up on this program, because this is your chance to say what is what. Also, I've noticed one thing I'd like to see filtered out in Facebook is swearing and posts. I don't think that's a good idea because it devalues your post, right? And I was also pretty shocked about the reference made this week uh, to uh, to Russia and the Olympic Games. What that is is a, is a, a syndrome called the Gold Syndrome. I think that's the name of it. And people will mention something like that when they're losing their argument, but it really devalues. Interesting. Uh, 5,000 at hoops, says James. Now, I take it this is not to do with Celtic Park. I take it this is hands off our parliament. So hoops was when everybody gathered the other night and put their hands together right round the Scottish parliament. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Keep your horn in your hippie. There's somebody with a very famous McLuhism. My advice to a lot of ladies watching, keep your hand on your hitney. That was always the big one. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Who else have we got? Let's hear from you. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty. This is David Jones. Excellent to have you with us, David. You'll never ban gun crime or knife crime. Too many idiots about Steve Burroughs. Never, ever, ever say never. That's my attitude. Don't ever think you will never do. I'm sure a hundred years ago the suffragettes thought we'll never, ever, ever get votes for women, but they did, so there you are. McClure, I missed last week's show, and as a protest, after you muddled the Dark Island in the box, don't be too hard on yourself. You're a very fine box player. Gordon Stilling, I'll tell you, I had to listen to that afterwards. I don't normally watch the show because I've been in it, so I know what we've actually said. But what we can do here, very, very important, and um, I'll just get the phone call there. Very, very busy. Never a dull moment. Yes, indeed. Um, sorry, just broadcasting just now. Thank you very much. So there we are. Anyway, not to worry. That's that. Um, now, Kenny McNulty is watching. Did you do what I was going to say, Gordon Sterling? My rendition of the Dark Island wasn't actually too bad at all. And as I say, I would very happily hand you my button key melodion. No rehearsal, no introduction needed, and get you to finger root, finger, finger root, not figure root, you could figure it as well, but to finger root the dark island, and I shall sit and listen to your rendition with my great auditory abilities, and we shall judge it. There we are with the nation, not just one nation, but every nation shall be judging your box playing on the button key melodeon. Mr. Gordon Sterling, there you are, sir. But uh, thank you, nevertheless. It was excellent. It was excellent, says everybody. Kira Fox, uh, tuning in, Scotty Dinky Do. Um, I did think I just went back to childhood and bought a cheap wooden hulled metal keeled sailing model ship. Fantastic. And sailed it on the new Brighton model boat lake. 
Is that not just amazing? So there we are. Lovely. There's something wrong with my um, roll up tonight. I don't know what's going on here. I'll have to roll you all up. Hope you had a good weekend, Scotty. Says Thomas Hamilton. I did, Thomas. Thank you. Uh, have you ever been in bother with the polis? Scotty says Dino the Doug. No, I haven't Dino the Doug because I was very, very fast on my feet. So I've never been in bother with the polis at all, I have to say. Uh, yes, 5,000 at the hoop stream, says Eddie Doby Sr. Excellent stuff. Kids don't need music. The parents should teach them right from wrong. Kids always need music, Steve Burrows. I can tell you that. What do you think of the Donalds, says Scott Simpson. Well, the Donalds, interesting. The Donalds cammed Doon a lot, I notice. And I think he's starting to realize that um, any senior position like that is one which you don't do all the talking, you do the listening. So there we are. That's the stuff there. Scotty, would you do Desert Island Discs? What would your three Desert Island Discs be? Very, very interesting. I think probably I would choose the Scottish paraphrase from Isaiah, Behold, the mountain of the Lord in latter days shall rise. There we are. I think I would choose that. I think I would also choose a Jimmy Shand record, I think. And I think I would choose Kenneth McKellar singing My Love is Like a Red, Red Rose. So there we are. Stuff that we were brought up with. Listening at our mother's knee. That's what I say. I'm going to have to keep scrolling you up, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my scroller tonight. Uh, hi, Scotty Dinky Do. A happy Palm Sunday to you, says Frank Crombie. Yes. This marks the Sunday where Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of the donkey. Yes, and um, people spread down the palm leaves for him to, uh, to go across. Ride on, ride on in majesty. Excellent. Start of Holy Week for Christians, of course. Um, I always love the man from Uncle Bad, sneaky and brilliant says Spike Nesmith. Yes, indeed, I won't go too much into that, if you'll pardon the pun, Spike Nesmith. Excuse me a second, everybody. Oh, studio roasting tonight, of course. So, um, the mandatory mop dun, the man from Uncle Badge. We're talking about McLeusisms. Who remembers? Paul Kyra's watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Everybody who's watching, come on on, you know, bolden up, I say. Lovely view of an ox star, says Gordon Sterling. Ah, there you are. You'll have to move your camera away, Gordon. You shouldn't be looking at your ox stars. You should be watching Scotty McClure. Uh, it was excellent, says Alistair King, my rendition. I love the Dark Islands, says Rod Hardesty. Yes, this is the tune, Rod, of course. This is not necessarily the island itself. Uh, when the lights have gone out. Lol, that's the social again, says Rab. You never know, Rab. It might well be. Dinky do, Scotty, my friend. Sorry I'm late. How are you doing? Says Stephen Wearmouth. How you doing, my man? Says Paul Lee. Lovely to have you all with us. Now, guys, get sharing and sharing and sharing. I've got my trusty share here tonight. So what we can do, I shall get my clue up and we will share them in about two minutes' time. There should be a share at quarter past, one at half past, one at quarter to and one on the hour and then sharing throughout the week so that we get a good few thousand watching the show. Very, very important. Dinky do, Scotty, my friend, says Stephen. Wonderful to have you with us. I'm just going to keep scrolling you up, guys. Hello, says Anne-Marie Crone. Hello, Anne-Marie Dinky do. And um, Paul is there. Do you know the Doug? If I was a woman, I'd probably be a single mother by now. Well, do you know the Doug? That's only if you didn't keep your horn in your heatney, I have to say. Anne Ingalls watching, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Alistair says, my little boy's watching with me tonight. He loves the show, says Alistair. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If we have a first name, Alistair, we'll give him a shout out. Ed Strangsteel's watching, Dinky Do Ed. Any news about any TV or radio shows, Scotty? Steve, the meetings go on, the discussions go on. Now, just to put you all in the picture, there's a lot of exciting things happening in radio in Scotland. And obviously, if you want to be a player in radio, your first step is to get in touch with Scotty McClue and say, would you do a show? So there you are. That's going to be your first step, because obviously, I am the master 
I can't do anything about that. That is a fact of life. I didn't set out to be as brilliant as I am. It just happened. So there you are. Um, God and Eric Dinky do excellent stuff. His name's Junior. Alistair's wee boy, Junior. Dinky do, Junior. Lovely to have you with us. I'll give you a wave. Fantastic stuff. Uh, a wee body there, says Rab. What were you looking at, Rab? No, 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 this is not a, a wee body. <clears throat> this is Adam's ale. Mm. Lovely. Dinky do, Scotty. What's the goalie doing? <laughs> says Sean Higgins. Are you away with the goalie, Sean? So there we are. Not a fan of the scroll up says Stephen. So there we are. I don't know why the scroll up's not working tonight. Uh, so there we are. Where's the studio nurse? Give it a shout. Yes, Dino the Dog, the studio nurse used to step in when people were not coping, when they were coming on and saying silly things to Scotty McClue. So there we are. We all sorted out the studio nurse. Excellent stuff. Uh, get uh, Time to get sharing, guys. Uh, love your hat, Scotty, says Thomas. One of my favourites, says Thomas. Slightly different to last week's, you'll notice, but one of my favourites. What do you think of the shouting in France, or the shooting in France last week, and the policeman being shot? That policeman was so brave, the gendarme. He offered himself as a hostage. But it just shows you the kind of people we're dealing with that would actually think about taking the life of another person like that. That was dreadful. Bless that lovely man. Bless that person. And deep and sincere condolences to all of his family en français. Je regrette que je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu peux longtemps, peut-être je comprends. So there we are. Shocking. Any of these shootings, we need to get rid of guns. We don't need them. This is the 21st century. And it's all very well for the right wing to go shouting the odds and stuff like that. But there's no need for them, right? We don't need a class system. We don't need a right wing and a left wing. We just need intelligent people filled, absolutely stuffed with common sense. So there you are. More Scotty McClues. That's what we're needing, I shall tell you. Right, what I'm doing here, guys, I'm going to share so there we go. So I'm just coming back onto this and we shall do a share. Can you all do the same? Um, Joshua Cassidy, dinky do. The world is his oxter, says Eddie Doby. So there you are. Is that Gordon Sterling or is that me? Love your hat. Um, so there we go. That's what we're talking about. More scrolling up. We've got trouble with the scroll tonight. Um, so there we go. Julianne Scott joined us. Excellent stuff. Uh, he's waved back, says Alistair. Excellent. Wonderful, Alistair. Thank you. Women drivers, Scotty, is your view the same? Can I tell you, right? Now, it happens to always be a woman driver in this. When you're joining the motorway and you're signalling and you go on to several lanes and you have to cross lanes, otherwise you'd be pushed off at an intersection and you're signalling and signalling and signalling, you'll get overtaken on signals. When you get out and pass the car that overtook you on signals, there's a lady driving. Very interesting, isn't it? It's as if they haven't got that sense of they are responsible. Now, joking apart, there's absolutely nothing anti-women in this. Women's brains work differently to men's and driving the coordination on the road is something that is different. Now, that's not to say you don't get some excellent women drivers, but in actual fact, it's usually a woman that will cut you up in these situations. So they are, do be careful, I say. So that's my view, and that happened to me very recently. Uh, the net is mucking about a bit tonight. I've just got back in, says Kieran. Absolutely, Kieran, yes. And uh, we don't know if we're at the mercy of the algorithm, just a handful of people being allowed to see McClue. So there we go, because that's how the old business model works. But I am going to have a wee chat with um, the senior people at Facebook and say, look, this is very high value content. You'll have a fair old bit of nonsense goes through your hands, but this is very high value content. Let the whole of Facebook see it. Let the two billion people see it and then they can decide if they want to watch it or not. Uh, Scotty, is Red Cola under promoted? 
Would a diet version revive it? I don't believe in a diet version of anything. I know you can look at me and say, I still see. But in actual fact, I think there's probably more chemicals in your diet version than there is in the sugar. Uh, in the second coming, I hear you've been expecting me, says Dino the Doug. Very good, Dino. Yes, we're always expecting you. There we are. It's a fact of life. Dino the Doug will turn up at some point. Harry Nollis, stinky do. Good evening, Scotty. Sorry I'm late. Could you please give a mention for my friend uh, pronounced Halley? So there you are. Halley, as in the Halley. Halley Orchestra. Right, so we'll say Halley. Harry says hello to Halley. There we are. Scotty, what do you think of the attempt to hide the Scottish brand from products? Now, that's absolutely shocking because, remember, there is no such country as Britain. So you can't actually have a British brand unless every country had put something into that brand. So say you had a wee bit of Welsh water and a wee bit of Scottish sugar and all that sort of stuff, then <clears throat> that could be called British. But there is no such country as Britain, so it should be the country of origin. If something has originated in Scotland, like Scots whiskey or Scotch beef, uh, then that should definitely have the uh, saltire on it. That's what I can tell you there. Um, we need to steer away from trying to put Scotland down because Scotland needs to move on and be a world leader and might actually save the Westminster Parliament in the long run. But Scotland needs to take its money back. Mrs Thatcher decided to asset strip Scotland, robbed us all absolutely blind. I can go back to the times when Scotland had its own stock market, huge businesses, the banks were owned by Scots and run by Scots, all these sort of things, wonderful stuff. So uh, we shouldn't be hiding the Scottish brand, it's huge. Read the poor French policeman uh, that gave his life for the hostage. Governments should uh, put their heads in shame and look after his family. Absolutely, well hopefully that will happen, I say. What do you think of the weather, says Thomas? The weather has actually been, we've had um, the winter obviously for two years and it's very nice to have a nice bit of weather. Right, have you been sharing, guys? I ask you, I'm just looking on here to see if I can get the old app up and see what's happening. Uh, where, see where my clue is and see if we can get some sharing going. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. There are three and a half thousand people joined us last week. Wonderful. Did you mind to change your clocks? Yes, I did. Fantastic stuff. So there we are, an hour forward. Now, uh, me and Hallie were wondering on your opinion on immigration figures. Do you think immigration is too high or too low? Scotland was depopulated through a lack of social justice, right? The people were burned out and thrown off the land and sent away to the colonies. So Scotland needs to repopulate, not all of it, but we could do with a good few million more. So there you are, so not a problem. So I would say immigration is certainly under in Scotland. Yeah, I've got myself a bonnet new Scotty, I'm in the clan. I went fishing with it today. What a difference it makes to my bald head. You see, I'm getting a wee bit thin on top as well, you know, so the bonnet is very, very important. Right, guys, have we had our second share? Share, 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 share. Evening from Barnsley, Scotty. I'm ashamed to say, but I haven't watched for the last two weeks. Naughty me, says Lee Fern. Love to Barnsley, Lee. Poor old Barnsley. Now, Barnsley had one or two xenophobic people saying, ah, there's too many in the country. We have to change all that stuff. And they, of course, have been sold down the river with Brexit. The poor old Barnsleyites, I say. So evening to Barnsley and Dinky Doo from Scotty McCoo. Yay, Jimmy Owen, says Kieran Fox. As the King says, I shared. Fantastic. Can I have more hearts, please? So there we are, Dinky Doo. Uh, the government should do more to fix these potholes. The road tax quick enough, says Steve Burrows. Now, I'll tell you what interests me about this. Have you noticed? You'll see it on Facebook. That's where you can get so much these days on Facebook that they're going to use plastic to resurface the roads. So there we are. All that thrown away plastic strengthens the mix for road surfacing. So I say, let's get that plastic down on all these potholes. 
Wonderful stuff. What do you make about this white Easter? Says Rab Hill. Very, very interesting. Yes, a bit of snow forecast. Uh, it's my birthday. Can I have a happy birthday? Says Halle Angela Jean Riddell. Of course you can, Halle Angela. Happy birthday to you, I say. And dinky do, and many of them. What we'll do is we'll have a big round of silent applause. Fantastic stuff for you. And three silent birthday cheers. Are we ready? Fantastic. There we are. Excellent stuff. Now, all shared Scotty, says Thomas. Good for you, Thomas. Wonderful stuff. Come and join us. Tell people Scotty McClue is live the new. As I say, I've just found out how Facebook works. And we are at the mercy of the algorithm, how many people can see. Uh, should we have to pay a TV license just for watching BBC, says Scott Simpson. Interesting one, Scott. Well, it's the BBC that, of course, take the TV license. It used to be the Postmaster General. So, I, I and well, it's now TV licensing, isn't it? But I don't know. Do you need a license to watch commercial television? So if we got rid of watching the BBC, if we said, no, come and block us, from watching the BBC and we'll watch commercial television and we'll watch Scotty McClure on Facebook live. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Um, happy birthday, Haley. So very important. But are there people watching who love the BBC and think it is superb value for money? So there you are. Tell us what you think. Very, very important. So there we are. Got a problem with scrolling tonight, guys. So I've got to just scroll nice and slowly. Uh, you're not right in the head, says Rab Hill. Who are you talking to, Rab? I hope you're not talking to me. This Cassandra Augustus is watching. Cassandra Augustus, come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. This is the show that everyone's watching. This is the show everyone is talking about. If you can't make it along, it stays up on Facebook, and we also upload it to YouTube. So there we are. Uh, that wasn't a reference to any of you, by the way. That's YouTube. Good evening, Scotty. Great to see you, says Leslie Danny. And you, Leslie. Lovely to have you with us. The telelicensed folk are coming on the 4th of April. I'd better mind and put the kettle on. So there we are. What's your opinion? Yeah, the only thing is, Dean of the Doug, it would be different if you actually had a telly. I wouldn't put it past you just to invite them round to show them you've not got a telly. What's your opinion on our free from point of use NHS? I'm against any kind of medical insurance being introduced. What are your thoughts, Scotty? Says Lee Fairman. My worry, Lee. Uh, this Brexit thing is sheer folly and sheer madness, right? The way ahead for Brexit should be that um, we say to our Prime Minister, just cancel it. Say to the EU, listen, we've uh, weighed up all the pros and cons. Uh, we don't think Brexit's a good idea. We never actually did, but we wanted to appease some of the people who fell for some of the, the whoppers that were told for Duff Gen. So we wouldn't like to see the UK ruined with this Brexit thing. So we'd like to rescind Article 50. We'd like to apologise to the EU. Hope you'll welcome us all back at the table as one of the family and let's just uh, hold hands and dance. There you are, fantastic stuff. I know this is a closed question, but I don't, don't you think when we did radio phone-ins and covered locally, if we had this now, we would have been more than um, we could ever have realized and power something Seymour came in. I can't actually do the Seymour because, I, I, you know, it's so delicate I lose the broadcast. Uh, so there we go. My telly went out the window years ago. Uh, somebody threw it back in, says Dean of the Doug. <laughs> Lee, I'm against it too, but working for the NHS on the front line, you see how it's abused by the public. Very interesting, Sandy. Do feel free to tell us more. Now, <clears throat> What's interesting, what I was going to say, I've already given you a tiny rant about the Brexit thing, and common sense would say, cancel it right now, okay, just put a stop to all that. Because these so-called Brexiteers, T-E-A-R-S, who are going to be in floods of Brexiteers, if it actually goes ahead at the moment, nothing has actually really been done 
or agreed right so so it would be fine to cancel it it wouldn't actually make any difference so there we go that would be an excellent idea brexit lets us get our past blue passports back i like the maroon one actually and by the way a dutch company is making them in france so we'll give over man daft brexiteers yes yeah, so there you are i was talking to you scotty so there we are. Uh, I can't see what happened there so quick now. Say hello to my friend Harry. It says Harry Angela Jean Riddell. I will Harry Angela Jean Riddell. I shall say hello to Harry. The best of the BBC is River City, Still Game, and Doctor Who. There we are. That's always been a question I've looked for the answer for Doctor Who. Excellent stuff. I think I would have made a fabulous Doctor Who. Might still do. So there you are. Uh, hello, says Peter Ewing. Hello to you, Peter Ewing. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, how are we doing for time? Um, I've got it that it's about just after half past. Is that right? So can we do some sharing? Right, I'm just going to refresh the page here. And then we're going to share, 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 share. So the point I was going to make, we talked about the Brexit. You were asking about the NHS. The thing is, if we did come out of Europe, we would be at the mercy of the USA as a trading partner, right? Now, that might suit the USA, but in actual fact, we need to be very careful that they don't sort of, by the back door, try to privatise the NHS. Can you tell us your age? Yes, what age do you think I am? You can all have a guess. Our councillor, please, have moved a convicted um, what's this, says Alistair, in round the corner from me, Scotty, what do you suggest we do to have them renewed? Alistair, I don't think I'll get into that particular discussion on this programme. That's one for the radio phone-ins, to be quite honest with you. Uh, Doctor Who is now a nurse, says Dear the Dog. I was at the BBC when Doctor Who was still a nurse. There you are. Uh, good morning, Scotty in Tasmania, a very old hotel in the Central Highlands which held a lot of Tasmanian freshwater fishing, um, but burnt down. Fortunately, no one was hurt, says Erica Meyer. Dinky do. Lovely. There's Erica watching in Tasmania. I think you're 55, says Halle Angela Jean Rudel. I think that's an excellent guess. I'll run with that. So there we are. Uh, we have 200 channels, and there's nothing worth watching, says Steve Burrows. This is why we have Scotty McClure, of course, live on a Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp on Facebook Live. You get the World Stop broadcast on First Lord of the Internet because it's the new television. Until the television companies wise up, smarten up, and take Scotty McClure live, then, uh, you know, what's the point? Why would you watch, I say? Where are you from, says Sally Angela Jean Riddell. I am from a variety of places. My mother knitted me, you see. So I am a universalist. I can tell you that. And um, May has traded away the Scottish fishing industry. Yes, the Scottish fishermen must be feeling a wee bitty silly and a wee bitty sore about that. But they did fall for the Brexit nonsense, you know. I mean, you'd be better really reading uh, J.M. Barry's Peter Pan than having anything to do with Brexit, I can tell you that. 49, says Peter Ewing. You're wonderful, Peter. Thank you very much for that. I would say you're 51, says Erica Meyer. Aha! So there we are, kind of in the right area. Scotty, don't you think we can be a successful country outside of the EU? No country's ever left the EU before, so none of us can really know what will happen. Although I do think it's unfair for, and it says see more, I can't. 58, says Anne-Marie Crone. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Uh, do you still roll your eggs, Scotty? I beg your pardon. That's a very personal question. Yes, I do. I roll my egg down the hill. Now, does anybody know what rolling the Easter egg signifies? All right. Let's see if you know that one. Uh, were you knitted with matching mitts, says Dear the Dog? I don't have my mitts on tonight, Dear the Dog, but as you very well know, I wear my mitts. Fantastic stuff. Um, I gave up watching TV on Sunday nights to watch Scotty, says Kieran Fox. You and the rest of the world, Kieran Fox, this is the way ahead. It might not seem as huge as it could be at the moment, but I do want to talk to senior people at Facebook because 
two billion people should be able to see Scotty McClue. And that would be much better value to Facebook than I could ever give them in advertising. So there we are, advertising money. Scotty, a great guy and a great customer of mine. I'm glad you're doing well, says Leslie Danny. Dinky do, Leslie. Lovely to hear from you. Unfair for Scotland as they voted to remain. The fishermen, well, the fishermen didn't all vote to remain. A lot of them voted for Brexit because, you see, when I used to sort of not be quite so pro-Europe years ago, I was thinking about all the wonderful Scottish fishing ports, right? You have Carradale, Oban, Tarbot, Ardrishig, um, Malig. I mean, Malig, you know, millions of tons of fish shipped out of Malig by steam train. Uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Over on the other side, Aberdeen, or Broth, Stonehaven, Bucky, you know, Banff, all these tremendous places. Uh, the rock rolling away from the cave, says Eddie Doby Sr. Absolutely, the rock rolling away from the cave. And where was the cave situated? In whose garden? In what garden? All right. Very important. The opening of the cave where Jesus' body was behind. The big boulders of Sandy Gibb that they rolled back. And uh, then Jesus was not there. He has risen. He had gone into the garden. And he saw Mary who thought he was the gardener. And she said to him, Rabboni, which means teacher in Hebrew. And he said, Mary. So there you are. Uh, the old film what old film would you remake well i just saw a remake of whiskey galore very very good excellent stuff but of course the originals very difficult thing to replicate uh scotty you should try interviewing people and then posting it. it's a rather popular hobby lots of people are doing it these days says dinner the dog dinner the dog you get yourself onto scotty mcclue's youtube channel and you will see an interview with david Heyman, the actor very very famous actor a super interview with david You'll see an interview with uh, Bill McMurdo, uh, one of the world's top football agents. So you'll see all that. You'll see Scotty McClure's interviewing style. The difference between you and others is that they have come and gone. You stay, says Kieran Fox. Absolutely. McClure is here for life, Kieran. When people say, oh, yes, it was of its time, the world's changed. No, 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 no. People will always want to have a discussion and a debate with you and give their opinion. And as long as people want to give their opinion, Scotty McClue will find a platform to receive them and to discuss it with them. So thank you, Kieran. Yes, I am going nowhere. There we are. I don't mean that career-wise. I'm going up there hugely career-wise, but I'm not going off the media just because some dafty thinks, oh yes, yes, was he not around before? Before what? So there you are. What are they, what are they talking about? BC or AD? Uh, so there we are. Peter Head, says VJ. Peter Head, absolutely. And um, Fraser Burra, the Broch, the Broch. Bucky, I love it, says Rab Hill. Wonderful place, Rab. Hope you enjoy the music of the Spay. There's only one good TV show that was the good old days, like your radio shows, says Stephen. So there you are. Yes, we need to get back. I think what the way ahead for Scotty McClue would be, would be to keep the Facebook live show, to um, speak to the senior people at Facebook and say, can we actually realise this is high value content and de-restrict the algorithm? Also, I would like to uh, appear on other platforms and uh, on television channels as well. In other words, we put out the Scotty McClure show as a production and people take it. So there we are, you see. You're the best, Scotty, says Thomas. Is your lucky rig, Scotty? You're forever mopping your heat. Oh, it's roasting in here, Dino. Absolutely. So there we are. Scotty, how do we get into the psyche of the next generation and give that opinion onwardly? We uh, appear live on Facebook Live. And the next generation watches. I can remember, as I say, speaking at a conference, a radio conference, and just as we were about to start, in came the controller of uh, BBC Radio 1. And I thought, this is marvellous. I wondered what he was doing coming along to hear an old guy in a tweed cap. But I realised the massive 
massive youth following that Scotty McClue has. So there we are. Always young people love to watch Scotty McClue or listen to Scotty McClue on the radio. So there we are. Uh, and if you think about it, those of you that were young yourselves 10 years ago, something like that, you will remember. Give me some more hearts, please, and thumbs up. Come on, tap, 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 as much as you possibly can. Get BBC ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5 contacted about having your own television show. That would be amazing. Your show would be a ratings winner. Yes, it would. It would only need to be about maybe half an hour late on, say, a Friday night. So people got home, they thought, let's get home because McClue's on at 11 o'clock and, uh, and we'll get a good laugh. And that's what it's all about. So there you are, Scotty McClue, live on the big television contractors. And then we make it one that's got access to telephones and you all phone in and we chit chat. How about that? Educational, says Alistair King. Yes, we inform, educate and entertain, Alistair. Uh, like somebody was asking me, uh, I wish I'd had the the B something uh, you have done, Scotty, says Kieran. Kieran, just do it. It's so interesting. There was a guy last week, somebody saying, Scotty McClure is absolutely amazing. It's a brilliant show. And this guy was trying to do it down by going, oh, yeah, but anyone can do that. So my answer to him would be, let us know when your show's on and we'll all watch. Wonderful. So there we go. Fantastic. So you do it, Kieran, I say, because you're a very fine broadcaster. Excellent stuff. And there's room for us all. I used to try and get this message across to broadcasters in um, commercial broadcasting and in the BBC who would stab you in the back. Somebody would say, oh, yes, so-and-so said something about your show. I have to let you know. And it used to always come back to me. And they would say, what do you think of what he's been saying? And I say, he's a poor soul. There's room for everyone. Let's not be so paranoid and so tiny in our minds that we don't realize that the world is vast. It's huge. So there we are. I can remember somebody saying, watch the way you speak to some people. You could lose. You could lose viewers. You could lose listeners. I thought, there's a whole world out there. What are you talking about? If they want to go, bye-bye. If somebody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's their problem, not mine. So there we are. Uh, how's it hanging, Scotty? I've been watching for a couple of days. You've no change since Friday. You're still a stud, says Andy. Dinky do, Andy. Very kind of you. Frank Crombie, best medicine, Scotty. Laughing, no need to see the doctor or the nurse. Well, that's why I have a very thin medical file because I've had so much laughter in my life. It really is. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I was laughing at one point so much, I actually had to take the mirrors out the house. So there you go. Um, oh, thanks so much, says Kieran. No, Kieran, that's just a fact of life. Go for it and, uh, and get the people going. That's what I say. If they're talking about you, they're leaving someone else alone. That's what I say, says Alistair King. Absolutely, Alistair. And I mean, the one thing worse than being talked about would be not being talked about. So there we are. We don't want that again. Um, excellent stuff. Uh, that's what's missing. The phone in. Get a laugh, Scotty. The phone in. You'd smash the place, says Rab. Of course we would, Rab. I mean, but I think there are broadcasters out there who also have access to phone companies. Well, every broadcaster's got access to a phone company, but they should do it. Or I might just do it myself if they don't waken up. Uh, I once rang the show on Hallam FM about 20 years ago and ended up having an argument with Scotty. I do apologise to Lee. Lee, why should you apologise? I probably ended up having an argument with you. It takes two to tango, you know. So there we go. Now, how are we doing with the sharing? What is going on here? Who is doing the sharing? Wonderful. Right. I'm going to have to see what's happening. Bear with me, guys, till we see what we're doing here. It's quarter two. Time for another share, 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 share. There we are. We might even start doing a few talk-ups, a few wee commercials for you. See if we can increase your footfall. Good evening, Mr. McClure, says the wonderful Ronnie Stevenson. Good evening to you, Mr. Stevenson. Lovely to hear from you. You're a gentleman, sir. There we are. That's what it says on your card. I can tell you that. So there we go. Wonderful. Now, what have we got here? Um, I brought the old phone in as well tonight so we can see uh, what's happening. 
excellent so we can get everybody up and uh, we've got the app on here so that's what we're talking about how marvelous is that what a beautiful day for sticking a cucumber through a vicar's letterbox and saying look out vicar the martians are coming excellent have a wonderful bit of ken dodd so there you are i shared three times as Anne marie clone thank you Anne marie that is very 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 much appreciated just shared, says Lee Fan, thank you do. I once phoned Scott FM 460,000 times one week. It was always engaged. <laughs> now, that's Dean of the Dog, who's a very, very funny and clever man. And Scotty McClure, of course, holds the world record for phone calls to a radio station. 460,000 phone calls in one week. It was down on the printout in those days. It was the printout. You didn't look down and see a screen with little numbers on it. Uh, but it was the official printout. And I thought, this is fantastic. 460,000 people have tried to contact me. Or Dino the Doug has phoned 460,000 times and got engaged. And, of course, it shorted out the network for Central Scotland. You'll see it on the internet there. It's all there. All fully documented. McClue's power when he goes on a television or radio station to bring the audience flocking. Flocking, I say. Shared, says Frank Crombie. Dinky do shared, says Davy Mortimer. Thanks, Davy. That's tremendous. Guys, if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. This is the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. This is the new television just for you scotty mcclue capital s small c o double t i e that's the scotty the mcclue capital m small c capital c l u e uh share 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 scotty i have to do some videos for my business but my voice is difficult to understand and i really hate my photo being taken what's your advice to get over this says alan gadden take lessons from scotty mcclue so there you are and we'll get your voice sorted out I don't want to, uh, I'm not bragging in any way here, but I have a number of very, 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 very high level clients. So there you are, very discreet. And I advise them on their media. I get big people out of small corners. They are, I get big people out of tight corners. Uh, so there you are, and uh, give very high level advice. There's only one guy I know who uh, he, he's a good friend of mine. And I once gave him superb advice. <coughs> and that would have made him three million pounds. And he ignored it. <laughs> and uh, ended up getting sacked. What about that? There you are. Three million pounds he walked past. So there you are. So Alan Cadden, you know, get your voice sorted out and get your business on there. Fantastic stuff. Or get Scotty McClure to do it for you. Um, I'll bring the people in. Can't wait till next Sunday, Scotty, says Thomas. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty, dinky do, says Jim McKean. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Does Scotty think post this broadcast, Brexit, etc., that we can live in and buy properties in Spain and access older ongoing, says Kieran? Yes, I mean, that was another thing. I think the people that voted leave, and I did, I did at first because I wanted 350 million every week to go to the nhs so i mean i fell for some of the whopping whopping shockers that were getting bandied about at the time by certain individuals but no 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 uh you know i mean i think what is going to do it will break up britain so i think what you might get is ireland moving much closer together you'll get an independent scotland and, uh, you know, Scotland might even take in more of the UK, maybe go down to take in Yorkshire and the North West, something like that. Because I know for a fact that people who are unhappy with the Conservatives and the Labour people would be very, very happy to be governed by, um, by the Scottish Government. So there has been a lot of talk of that. They love the way things are being done in Scotland. Michael Paul McVeigh. Thank you for liking there. Very, very good evening. I'm a bit late. Uh, I agree with Steve, says VG. This hour's nearly gone. One hour's not enough, says Steve. Good night, Junior, says Eddie Doby Senior. Good night, Junior, from Senior. All the seniors saying good night to the juniors. 
Off you go to your bobos. Get these pyjamas on with the feet in. So there you are. They make them up until 18 years of age. Wadge has just joined us. Thank you, Wadge. Lovely to have you. Here's some cracking advice. Don't eat yellow snow, says Dino the dog. Thanks, Dino. Marvellous stuff. I've just cast it to my TV. So now watching you in the big screen, as it should be instead of my phone. What's it like? Take a, a screenshot and send it out to us all. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure on the big screen. Uh, Dinky Doo, says Wadge. Dinky Doo, Wadge. Lovely to have you on. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very, very warm welcome. You're shockingly, horribly, and appallingly late. You're 50 minutes late, but nevertheless, you're here. So all is well. Lovely to have you with us. Whatever time you can make it, you're always welcome on the Scotty McClue Show. Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. Now, I obviously accept applause or derision on my merits. So there you are. So you're never, ever, ever charged for the Scotty McClue Show. But if you've got a spare five bucks... And you'd like to pop it into either paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or one word or www.gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll get it on the Scotty McClue website www.scotty hyphen McClue.com. You'll see the logos there. If you want to stick a fiver in or something or a quid in, then that's marvellous. Anne Marie Cron says, Good night, Scotty. And says, We kiss good night, Anne Marie and Dinky Doo. Thank you for watching. Welcome. Uh, night, Scotty. Uh, how does no one phone you? Are they all fierce says Rab? <coughs> no, I think, Rab, we haven't quite got into the swing of it yet. We've only had a couple of calls, one being from your good self, which is always lovely. Have a good week, Scotty, says Thomas. Thanks. So there you are, night, Scotty. David McGill watching Dinky Doo. We can take a call on Messenger anytime. You're always very, very welcome. And remember, we are at the mercy of the uh, algorithm. I nearly said the logarithm there. But I'm going to be um, having a dialogue with some senior people at Facebook to say, look, you will make far, far more out of having Scotty McClue available to everyone than I could ever give you um, in terms of advertising fee or anything like that. So it be very much in Facebook's interest to take one of the biggest fans. So there you are. And uh, and build that up. Uh, good night, says VJ. Good night, VJ. Lovely to have you with us. The Scotty McClure Show, Sunday nights, 9 o'clock sharp. Never, ever, ever miss it. Very, very important. Here's Rab. Let's see if we can get him. Rab, we're just going to take your call. Stay, stick with it. Answering, right? Now stick with us, Rab. Do not dash away. It'll take a wee while to download. Always does that. Um, Castle Night Week sh Show, Scotty, because I'll not be able to watch it. Here's Rab. Hello, Rab. Didn't you do? No, he hasn't hung on. You need to hang on, Rab. Told you about that. What's your thoughts um, on the Catalan leader in exile? Right? Says um, David McGurr. David, that's another one for another program. Big discussion there. Just came across a videotape called An Audience with Scotty McClure. And I've not even got a video to watch on, says Davy Mortimer. That sold thousands and thousands and thousands. So there you are. Scotty, thank you for a great show. After a great daddy and daughter day, my weekend is complete. Have a fantastic week, says Alan Cadden. And you, Alan, lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for staying with us. Absolutely tremendous. Douglas McPherson. Scotty, can you do the Hogmanay telly presenting this year? Restart the White Heather Club. Yes. Lol, you hung up, says Rab. Rab, I never hang up. So there you are. So don't try and point the finger at McClure. I say to you, Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Stephen Stewart's watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Excellent stuff. And um, our, um, our roll-up's been a wee bit slow tonight. So there we are. Did you cut Rab off? Says Dean of the Duck. No, Rab cut his cell off. Dean of the Duck. Did you like that? His cell. There you are. The lonely prisoner. He was in his cell. Uh, he. 
Scotty. <laughs> the best of Scotty CD. Fantastic, says Stephen Burrows. That was a big seller as well, Stephen Burrows. The best of Scotty McClue on CD. So there we are. But there's lots more to come. Get yourselves on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. That's all you'd put into your search engine. The Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And uh, get yourself on there. There's a tremendous amount there. Uh, Kev Carleonis is watching with us. Can I have more hearts and thumbs up, please, dinky-doo? Hearts, 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 hearts. Excellent stuff. Lots of that. Right, Rabs, if you're not coming on, we'll just take you doon. So there we go. We did. I did not hang up, Rab. I would not do that. You're so funny, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. I don't set out to be funny, Thomas, but I think the thing is we do get a good laugh. And I know that this would be an absolute winner eh, on a television or radio company. So if there's anybody watching who's got contacts in television or radio, there is a lot happening in Scotland at the moment. But do feel free to uh, tell them about Scotty McClue. Here he's coming again. Need to be see if we can get him here. Hello, Rab. Hello, Rab. Can you hear us? Hello, Rab. What's happening, my man? Wait till we see if we can turn you up. Right, wait a minute. Stay there, right? Can you hear us? Yes, I think we can. Right, folks, this is a bit of a long shot. But let's see if we can hear Rab now. Can you hear Can you hear Rab, folks? Speak up, Rab. Yep, we need to get you. I think we need to get you on the big one. Yeah, the Big Dipper. No, we need to get you on the big speakers, Rab. We'll sort this out for you. I, I am not in Blackpool. And I'm not on the shows. You're not in Blackpool and you're not on the shows? Yes. <laughs> Somebody told me you came off a horse. Ah, uh, well, that's, that's a different story. And the, the guy's not going to let you on the roundabout again. <laughs> No hearts from me. I've asked the same question loads of times. You don't seem to be seeing them. Sad faces from me, says Jamie Owens. Jamie Owens, I can only apologise. Rab, say good night to the nation. Good night to the nation. Take care. Good night to the nation. Take care, La. There we are. That was lovely. That was fantastic. Um, hearing from Rab. Tremendous. We will get that sorted out, guys, so we can take calls live. Now, how about making your Facebook show? As long as your radio show is to be, that'd be great, says Lee. A three-hour Facebook Live show. I don't think you would want that, guys. So there we are. Have a good night, Scott, says Thomas. So there we are. Jamie Owens, ask your question again. Hello, Rab, says Dino the dog. <coughs> right, another cup of tea. The, you'll see this backwards because the camera switched around. Seize the day. Tremendous stuff. Seize the day. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's so lush. Right, what do we got here, Stephen? Very, very quiet, Scotty. We could just hear him. We could just hear him. Yes, I know. I wanted to get him on the big setup, get the big speakers going. Have a good night, Scotty. See you next Sunday. Uh, try using the loudspeakers as Dino the Dog. Thanks, Dino. I didn't realize you were so highly technically qualified. Try using the loudspeaker. I'll use the loudspeaker on you, Dino the Dog. That's what I will say to you. So there we are, Neil Hoggins watching Dinky Doo Neil, class act, Scotty. And uh, no, you guys are a class act. Thanks very, very much for joining me tonight. Tremendous stuff. I think we've just about got time for the song. And I shall see you all next Sunday. God willing, weather permitting, all being well. If I'm spared, as we say. Right, are we ready? Facebook Live, keep it here. Keep it dear, keep it Scotty McClue, just for using Dinky Doo. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of wheat or zane, or of what and a teary o. Have a fabulous week, you beautiful people. Share this program like there is no tomorrow, even although there is. And lots and lots of fabulous tomorrows. Scotty McClue says goodnight to you. And dinky-doo.